In MindTap for College Success, there are several opportunities for students to take self-assessments. A um, couple of things to note on these assignments. One of them that is in every College Success MindTap is going to be the College Success Factors Index. Um, the others are going to be book specific. In this case, I'm in the Downing On course, so there's a soft skills assessment and then there's a study skills assessment. So these assignments are meant to be taken twice so that, um, so that students can see how they started off and how they have improved. So if you click on the edit button and go to edit and view activity options, prior to students completing this assignment, you will have an option to exclude the post-test. So if you only want them to be able to do it one time, you only want them to take it once the entire semester, um, you can exclude the post-test option. You also have the option to determine how many days after the original completion the student can complete the post-test. So if you wanted to push that out 30 days or 45 days or closer towards the end of the semester, you could do that. Um, the other thing to note in these assignments is that uh, when students take them the first time, they're going to get a completion score for completing it. So if you do have it set to take the pre-test and the post-test, students will get a 10 out of 20 or 50% the first time they take it and submit it then they will get the other half of their points the second time that they submit it. One of the nice things about these assignments is that they give you a lot of data for, um, for helping uh, structure your class in the best way possible for your students. So you can see this is me. I'm a student in this course and I took these assignments. I got 50% of my score and you can go into the instructor report and you would get a cumulation report of how all of your students did on the different types of assessments. So we'll take it a few minutes to load as it's pulling in data. And then you'll be able to see, um, to see a graph of which which items your students are below the watch line so that you may so you know how to target your class. You can print this or export it. You can also go in and see how I did on the assignment. So if you want to go in and see what my graph said specifically for me, you can see that as well. So those are the different types of assessments that are available in MindTap for College Success and how to navigate the instructor reports and setting the due dates. Thank you.